Hello friends, my name is Theo, and today in this exciting Meissner Media tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at how to create a hipstery, vintagey look inside of DaVinci Resolve. So without further ado, let's hop into DaVinci Resolve and get started. So I've got this first clip of this tree sort of landscapey shot that we're going to be working on today. First thing I'm going to do, just to kind of make it a little bit easier for everyone to follow, is uh, since I know not everyone's working with Cine Gamma footage, especially people wanting kind of gross hipster looks, it's a lot of times Rec 709 DSLR footage. I'm just going to go apply a 3D LUT right here. Handy Blackmagic Cinema camera to Rec 709 version 2. So that looks a little bit more like DSLR footage to me. Nice and punchy. So we're looking good. So this is more of how the footage will come out looking out of most cameras. Um, and if you are shooting on a camera that's using Cine Gamma, then you know how to apply a LUT. Uh, if you don't, just kind of contrast it up and boost the saturation. That's basically all that that LUT is doing. Uh, so now to approach this look, um, it's pretty simple. What we're going to do is go over into our curves control and then go over into our soft clip and then move the low up. And you see this sort of lightens up the black some. If you look at the scopes, what it's doing, let me just pull these over and resize them. So you can look and see, especially on uh, the RGB parade and waveform monitors, you can see it's just uh, clipping the blacks, but clipping them up higher. So we just pulled this all the way up. And now it's this super kind of washed out, vintagey looking thing. And if you want to, you can do some of the same stuff with the highlights on the high soft. Uh, I don't see this as much in the hipster vintagey things, but we'll clip them a little bit. So we're basically just chopping off our black point and white point and bringing them closer to the middle to give it this kind of more washed out look. And then the next thing that you'll normally see done with this, you can either leave it like this and be totally fine for your vintagey hipstery look, maybe even like desaturate a little bit. I don't know, whatever you feel like. Oversaturate it. But another thing that is often done in these uh, kind of hipstery looks is going over to your normal curves, making sure that they are not ganged together. What that will allow you to do is manipulate them individually. And then what you want to do is... Lots of times it's done on the blue, but you can do this on any channel or kind of screw them up. It's really fun to play around with your curves if you haven't ever done that before. But you just kind of pop this open. And what I'll do is I'll just place a little point right there to hold this in place and place one there. And just kind of bring our blue up. I'll hit escape to get out of this. And you can see this is making our shadows kind of bluey. So before and after. And if you want to kind of go a little more overboard, you can, you know, it's it's gross hipster looks. You can really kind of bump it out. Taste is thrown out the window. And then you can take your high point here and bring it down. And this will make your highlights kind of go a little bit yellowy, as you'll see. I might even just bring it down a little more to make it even more hipstery. And now you see you've got this, we'll probably desaturate it just a little bit. You got this kind of washed out, vintagey looking, you know, footage. Very hipstery, very music video-y, good to have in your pocket. I'll be uploading the power grade for this to my public Dropbox folder under the Downloads tab of www.meesnermedia.com. If you want to keep more informed with Meesner Media's happenings, be sure to check out our social media stuff, links for which are down in the description below of this video. If you like this video, please give it a like. If you didn't like it, give it a dislike. If you've got some more complicated feelings than that, be sure to write me a comment down in the comments below. I always love reading those. If you want to see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe to the Meissner Media YouTube channel. Once again, I've been Thea with Meissner Media. I hope you have a great day, and I will see you next time. Bye.